So, hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Extra Channel. Excuse the mess, there's a lot of things going on at the moment. Today we are taking a look at the Formica Fusca colony after it was requested in the comment section. And as you can see, this is their current setup. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't uh, been the best at cleaning them. Uh, yeah, the trash have uh, hit a little bit and they were just fit the other day, hence why there's uh, food in here. As you can see, we have two sugar tube, uh, two test tubes. On the left over here, we have a sugar tube, and on the right up there, we have a water tube. And uh, to be honest, they empty both of them in pretty much the same pace. In the background, I'm just moving the Novo Mesa Cacarelli, and uh, nothing for this video. But if we take a look at the Formica Fusca, they are very much Fusca, and they are very much... Oh, I managed to take it out without going, letting them go crazy. Oh, this is fine, dear man's work. There we go. So this is actually maybe my best colony this uh, my best doing colony this year. Not really sure why it's so moisty in here. I uh, haven't seen that before. But yeah, this is a four queen colony. And when this year started, they have had a total of zero eggs, zero larvae, zero pupae because they are from Kafuska. And they only had around 15 workers or something. And as you can see today, they have a lot more than 15 workers. They have done extremely well, and as you can see, they still also at the moment have a lot, a lot, a lot of brood. Currently, they actually don't have as much as they had in the past. In the past, they had a lot, a lot, a lot. But as you can see, they are Fusca, and they are, of course, going crazy. Most of the time, we have two queens hanging out, out in this chamber section right here. But I think all four queens may be in here right now. Can't quite see them. I can see two queens there and a third queen there. So I'm guessing that all queens are in here at the moment. But you can see they are stressing like Fusca and normally a queen is actually quick to run out and hide out here. Um, because that's what the law tells them to do. Be because they're Formica Fuscas. <laughs> but as you can see, they are quite busy going around. Um, I, can, I haven't actually seen this before. This is a little... It's, it's molded. It certainly, certainly looks like mold. Um, perhaps I shall not water the nest for a few weeks and see what they say about it. It's probably, it looks interesting. It's definitely the trash that have done something. It's very easy to see that this is the trash area. And um, yeah, it's probably something to do with that. But yeah, as you can see, they are just doing very well. Um, sadly, I have had quite hard times looking at them because these um, they just run all over the place. But sitting here and thinking about looking at this mold, I'm almost thinking and tempted about moving them into a Saturn that I'll hopefully get in a, in the near future. Um, but yeah, you can see they are doing very well. We have some bigger cast workers and we have the queens. A little bit of larvae right here and over here we of course have the main chamber. And as you can see they have a ton of eggs and they just all the time have a ton of eggs. Now, Ideally, I should have chosen the Wakushi um, medium full gypsum nest because they clearly like the gypsum more than they like this out here, as most of the time they are just 100% in the gypsum and not that often out here. Is that, was that a brood? Pupae? It's just trash. I don't know, they are really stretchy ants. But um, yeah, to be honest, um, the reason I haven't done a YouTube video on them in a while is because there isn't uh, there isn't much to update on them because they are just I wouldn't say boring, but they just aren't doing that. Um, well, they aren't. They they are just doing pretty averagely. They are growing, and um, yeah, out in the art world, you can see we do need to give a little cleanup, and I'll do that uh, yeah soon. But while we are here, we may as well uh, look at the con in the background. This is the Nova Mesa Cagarelli, and uh, I made a short yesterday i think with kickstarting them moving and as you can see in here they are uh, moving a little bit into this nest right here this is the pomerat's nest and it's looking very beautiful um sadly all but the queen had moved in here this morning um but they have moved a little bit back again now a lot of people want me to heat this nest because they say it isn't hot enough only having 24 degrees so that's why i'm heating it and seeing if that makes a difference now, since all of the brood is in, in there, it probably does make a difference. But um, yeah, we are yet to see the queen make a move into the new nest. But yeah, that has been a little video of the Formica Fusca. Like I said, 
not too much to say about them. They go very crazy normally, and I'm very impressed with how calm they actually stayed. If I put this on a little bit too hard, let me just... Did it all right. Normally they just go crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah, that's been it for this little Fusca update.